Listen up, history buffs. There's a perfect event happening this weekend that is just for you. At the Villa Louis historic site, there will be a reenactment of the War of 1812. Susan Kaya Slusser, director of Wisconsin historic site Villa Louis, joins us now to talk more about this reenactment. Good afternoon. I almost said morning. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so first off, for people who might not be familiar with the uh, War of 1812, can you give us a little bit of a background on it? Sure. Well, especially with the War of 1812 in Wisconsin, it's about the control of the fur trade and the alliance of the Native Americans that are living in the area. And there are forces that are coming up, the Americans coming up from St. Louis and the British coming down from Mackinac and their American Indian alliances that were siding with the British because they felt they were going to get more of a better trade deal with the British. And even the residents of Prairie du Chien themselves were siding with the British during this battle. And Very interesting. They, some of them got in trouble when, yeah. because the British won the battle, eventually lost the war, and there was consequences for these residents of Prairie du Chien for siding with the British. Interesting. So a lot of people might not realize that Prairie du Chien played a large role in the War of 1812. and kind of happened in our own backyard. Yes, we are the only battlefield during the War of 1812 in Wisconsin is what's now the West Lawn of Villa Louis. And so, yes, you can come out and take in the reenactment. That's history where it happened. Very cool. So tell us a little bit more about what will be going on at this reenactment. Yes, we have about 125 reenactors that come from all over the country, and many are coming down from Canada, um, part of Lord Selkirk's forces to fight for His Majesty. And we have a battle reenactment both Saturday and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. And But throughout the day, there's activities, there's camp life, there's cooking demonstrations. And when you see the battle reenactment, you see it where it happened, and there's cannon fire and musket fire. And it's just fun to take it all in and really um, live history um, today. Fantastic. Now, I know we said this would be a great event for history buffs. Is this something the whole family can come out to? Yes, there are some family activities, um, not just for the adults to really take in the military history, but we have activities for the kids. We have period games. Oh, um, we have little mini militia where they can pretend to be a soldier in March, but we have hoop and stick and the game of graces and some food sampling and plus a tour of the mansion as well. Very fun. Get them off those iPads. Yes. Um, and for people who might not be able to make it out there this weekend, there's a great book where they yes. can learn more. Um, this book was just published by the Wisconsin Historical Society Press by Mary Elise Antoine. And it's basically the book on early Wisconsin history, focusing on not only the War of 1812, but also the fur trade. And it was just released um, about two weeks ago. And Mary will actually be giving a talk at noon at Villa Louis talking about her book and doing a book signing as well. Awesome. Well, we uh, look forward to that event. Sounds very cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And hopefully you guys get good weather for Sounds the event. Like it, yes. Brian, are they going to have some sunshine for the reenactment?